Meanwhile, the rout in the Adani Group's shares deepens with the conglomerate's valuation now down by $66 billion. The Adani Group versus the Hindenburg saga continues as the allegations are being thrown back and forth between the Indian conglomerate and the U.S.-based research firm. The standoff started with a research report by Hindenburg which accused Adani Group of malpractices that led to a steep drop in Adani Group shares. Adani then issued a response on Sunday criticizing the U.S. firm's report. Then Hindenburg retorted to Adani's detailed response. The U.S. firm said that it believes in India's growth story and added that the Adani group, which has draped itself in the Indian flag, is looting the country and holding back India's progress. Last week, Hindenburg's report claimed that the Adani group had links with offshore tax havens and its exposure to high debt was a concern. The report also showed Adani Group's stock price was inflated and had significant downside risks. That too at a time when the group's flagship company Adani Enterprises launched India's largest secondary share offering to raise $2.5 billion. But the firm's share price, which rose on Monday to stall a two-day plunge, is still below the offer price, raising questions about its viability. The shares of other Adani firms, though, extended their steep fall for the third straight day. On Sunday, Adani refuted the report's warnings about high debt levels and the usage of tax havens. Adani, in a 413-page report, asserted that it has made the required disclosures and has met with all regulations. Adani Group called Hindenburg's research as malicious and baseless. In response, Hindenburg rejected the Adani Group's detailed report and said, fraud cannot be obfuscated by nationalism or a bloated response that ignores every key allegation we raised. Adani Group has said that they will not change the follow-on offer and expect a solid investor response despite the latest situation. Still, there were no bids from investors for the flagship firm's offer on Monday. Concerns about the group's finances have also been there throughout the tycoon's rapid rise. Gautam Adani started his empire in 1988 as a commodities trader with his company listed on Indian stock exchanges in 1994. He has since risen to the world's richest list, driven by a sharp rise in valuations of the stocks of his companies with some jumping more than 1500 percent over the last three years despite the crash in valuations he is still the seventh richest in the world according to Forbes he is Asia's richest man as well the Hindenburg report alleges that the Indian conglomerate resorted to stock manipulation use of shell companies for illegal tax savings and accounting fraud systems the US short sellers scathing report also alleges that Gautam Adani's elder brother Vinod Shantilal Shah Adani is in charge of a maze-like net network of illegal offshore shell firms. Hindenburg alleges Vinod Adani and his close friends control Mauritius shell entities and that many of the Vinod Adani associate entities have no signs of operations, employees, addresses, phone numbers or a meaningful online presence. Earlier, Vinod Adani's name had featured in the controversial Panama Papers in 2016 and Pandora Papers in 2021. According to media reports, the Panama Papers consist of 11.5 million stolen documents that were published starting on April 3, 2016, totaling to 2.6 terabytes of data. More than 214,000 offshore firms' financial and client information is described in the documents.